social media and the DIY movement have contributed to the growing popularity of natural building materials, eco-friendly products, improved air quality and healthy homes. Hemp is at the forefront of this movement. It is the oldest domesticated crop in the world and can be traced back to 8000 BC. Unfortunately, the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 that was meant to fight the rampant use of drugs also blacklisted hemp. Marijuana has psychoactive properties due to its high THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol content. However, hemp has none of those properties since its THC content is less than 0.3%. After 1937, hemp sales were heavily taxed, which led to a decline of the industry. The timing of the tax bill is very suspicious because it directly helped the emerging nylon and plastic industries. I'll save those conspiracy theories for a different video. Anyway, the Farm Bill of 2018 finally legalized hemp and all its derivatives. This has led to the creation of exciting new products like hempwood, or as people like to call it, weedwood. Full-length fiber hemp stalks arrive from farmers in bales or rolls. The bales are separated and crushed to make them more flexible. Next, they are spread evenly on a mesh. The roll of hemp stalks is submerged in a proprietary, all-natural, soy-based adhesive. After saturation, the hemp stalks are spread on racks and placed in a dryer to lower the moisture content. After drying, the stalks are weighed into portions and compressed under 3,000 tons of pressure into 5.5 by 5.5 by 72-inch steel molds. These blocks are baked in an oven until the catalyst in the glue is activated, which makes the blocks solid. Now that's a good use of a shipping container. Hemp wood can be turned into lumber, wood turning blanks, 4x8 panels, picture frames, guitars and furniture like lamps, tables and cabinets. One of the most popular hemp wood products is tongue and groove flooring. The blocks are sliced down into 8 inch thick hemp veneer and then pressed onto half inch plywood. The result is a very stable 5 8 inch thick engineered tongue and groove flooring in three options, unfinished, natural and bourbon. Hemp wood can either be rift sawn, which has a vertical linear pattern that resembles traditional lumber, or plain sawn, which has a more sporadic pattern. Because plain sawn is across the grain, it is harder than rift sawn hemp wood. Hemp wood flooring must be treated like high quality, solid hardwood floors. Vapor barriers are essential because it is susceptible to moisture. This flooring can be installed on plywood or OSP subfloors with a standard nail gun. You can also install it as a floating floor as long as you use waterproof wood glue on all four sides. Gluing them down to a concrete slab is trickier for three reasons. First, the lack of a vapor barrier under the concrete slab will draw moisture from the ground and ruin these planks. Secondly, if a new concrete floor isn't fully cured, it can have residual moisture that causes adhesives to fail. Thirdly, using a toxic adhesive with a non-toxic hemp floor kind of defeats the purpose of investing in these. You might want to look into zero VOC floor adhesives instead. There are so many things to love about this product. It is an excellent alternative to hardwood because it grows faster, it is denser and harder. Oak trees take 50 to 100 years to mature while hemp is transformed from seed to lumber in just 150 days, a hundred times faster. Oak also has a density of 40 to 50 pounds per cubic foot, while hemp wood has a density of 60 pounds per cubic foot. Janka hardness test measures the resistance of a sample of wood to denting and wear. Oak has a Janka hardness of 1,300 pounds force, while hemp wood has a Janka hardness of 2,000 pounds force, almost as hard as Brazilian cherry wood. It is 25% harder than hickory, oak or maple. Hemp wood is a very versatile and durable material that can easily replace furniture grade lumber. It doesn't scratch easily and it can be sanded and refinished. Hemp is considered to be an eco-friendly material because it sequesters more carbon than trees do. A hemp plot absorbs four times more carbon than a forest of the same size. By the time it is harvested, a hectare of hemp will have taken in about 22 tons of carbon. Hemp stalks are naturally flammable. 
However, hemp wood flooring is so densely compressed, it has a low Class B fire rating. When exposed to a flame for a long period of time, it did char and blacken, but the flame did not spread and it did not catch fire. It has no additives to make it more fire resistant than a hemp stock. Most importantly, it is free of formaldehyde. I spoke to Greg Wilson, founder of Hempwood, who used his knowledge from the bamboo and flooring industry to create this sustainable hardwood alternative. Greg said that the flooring industry has conveniently stopped using formaldehyde in their marketing and switched to phenolic resin, even though they are the same thing. Cheap, waterproof vinyl products are made from a variety of chemicals that off-gas. They emit VOCs or volatile organic compounds that can cause headaches, nausea, nose and throat irritation, etc. In large quantities, they can damage our liver, kidneys or central nervous system. Of course, using healthy materials comes at a cost, which is why large flooring manufacturers choose cheap alternatives. Hempwood uses pure bond plywood for their flooring, which is 20% more expensive than imported plywood. They also use a soy-based adhesive that costs $2.60 per pound, compared to a phenolic formaldehyde that costs 17 cents per pound. Their unfinished flooring costs $8 per square foot, while their finished versions are $10 per square foot. A 4x8 sheet of hempwood is $240. Hey guys, just a quick introduction. This is an unpaid and unbiased review, but in the process of making this video, I got so excited about this product and this company that I asked them if I could be part of their affiliate program. So I'll provide an affiliate link in the description to their website. If you have any questions about pricing or ordering materials, just leave me a comment below or send me an email. It is a little bit expensive, but the quality of the wood is so much better than cheap alternatives that off gas. Also, this is a new business. As they scale up and automate the production process, their prices should come down. Anyway, back to the video. Hempwood is susceptible to water and moisture, so it is a higher maintenance product than vinyl flooring. Humidity must be in the range of 35 to 55% at all times in a room. You should never steam mop or wet mop the floor surface. You cannot use wax, oil or soap, only hardwood floor cleaners. You must use an oil-based stain, not water-based, because it can cause hemp wood to swell. It is not a DIY-friendly product like other click-lock flooring. You can't cut this with a box cutter or even an ordinary blade because it is so dense. The manufacturers go through two carbide-tipped saw blades a day because this material is so strong. The company seems to hire very resourceful people. If they can't find a machine, they simply repurpose existing machines or build it themselves. They converted old tobacco drying machines into hemp drying ones. They converted a shipping container into a kiln. They built a bio burner that burns all the waste hemp and heats up glycol or antifreeze. This heat feeds ovens, dryers and kilns, so they are essentially running a zero carbon operation. They also sell hemp sawdust to the hemp plastic company. I am so inspired by this company and this product. It is truly made in America. They source all their materials from within a 100 mile radius of their factory in Murray, Kentucky. This is not some Silicon Valley company that makes false claims. They don't call this the Tesla Roadster of building materials that's going to solve homelessness. They have a very realistic long term vision. I asked Greg Wilson what the future of hempwood is, and he said that this is a specialty product, not a staple product. It will always be a single percentage entity, and it will never replace pine wood. Building a house purely out of hempwood is not cost effective, nor does it make sense. Driving nails into this dense, hard material is very daunting. Right now, hempwood is not intended for structural use. It's just an eco-friendly, sustainably sourced, American-made flooring and furniture alternative for both commercial and residential applications. Let me know if you are as excited as I am to see hemp products like these hit the market after decades of suppression. I'll link my Patreon page in the description. If you can support me, I'd really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.